Hello, I'm Detective Chief Inspector Bev Highland from Merseyside Police. I've got a short statement I would like to read out. We today welcome the sentence of David Morris to 16 years imprisonment and Julie Morris to 13 years and four months, following an extensive investigation by Merseyside Police. These extremely serious offences have had a devastating impact on the victims and their families. On Thursday, the 2nd of September, Merseyside Police executed a warrant at David Morris's address in Eccleston in St Helena's and seized his phone, his computer and other digital equipment. He was arrested on suspicion of possession and distribution of indecent images of children, questioned by police and bailed with conditions. The following day we received further information from members of the public and swiftly, swiftly responded by attending an address in Wigan. Here officers found the defendants in possession of £10,000 in cash and their camper van packed with their belongings indicating they were about to abscond. They were arrested and charged the following day with numerous child sexual offences and remanded into custody. This case is made even more concerning by the fact that Julie Morris held a position of trust as a deputy head teacher with the need for safeguarding. Yet she saw fit in her own personal life to completely disregard all of the responsibilities and the trust that her role held. I would like to thank members of the public who showed great courage in providing information which was key to Merseyside Police convicting them today. I would also like to thank the school where Julie Morris was employed for supporting Merseyside Police with the investigation. They share our shock at the actions of Julie Morris, who completely disregarded the school safeguarding practices. I wish to make it clear that none of the offences Julie Morris has been jailed for today relate to her employment. And finally, I would like to pay tribute to the investigation team who have worked tirelessly to gather the evidence to bring Julie Morris and David Morris to justice. This is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And our sponsors at Alpha Claims and Hire Birmingham, the leading and best accident management company, get a replacement car anywhere in one hour. I really appreciate you joining me today and this story comes from Liverpool Crown Court. This is every parent's worst nightmare. A head teacher involved in some of the most depraved acts of child abuse that I think I've ever heard of or documented on the channel. A deputy head teacher of a primary school has actually been convicted and jailed for helping her partner to get pictures of a young child. They also abused this child and the head teacher facilitated this. Police found a number of devices at first in David Morris's house. They did not know at the time that he was the partner of the deputy head teacher and the police actually arrested them as they tried to flee to the Lake District in a camper van with £10,000 in cash. They made full admissions in their interview and Julie Morris told officers that David Morris had a hold on her and the primary school deputy head teacher was charged over the rape of a child and pictures have emerged of her posing as a cheerleader in the school that she worked in. Julie Morris, 44, was charged with aiding and abetting the facilitating of this abuse and the parents of the school that she worked at, St George's Primary School near Wigan, were shocked upon hearing the news. Parents were told of the offences that had took place outside of school in a letter from the head teacher, Mark Grogan. He highlighted it is important to emphasise that the charges in relation to the offences were not connected to the school. But of course, a paedophile head teacher is definitely connected to the school. There is no telling what she could have gone on to do if they had evaded justice for any longer. And David was charged with three counts of rape and inciting a child under 13 into sexual activity. The police said they worked very closely with Wigan Council to ensure that the adequate safeguarding measures were put in place. But at the same time, Julie Morris was a safeguarding officer as well. So it was her responsibility to find children that had problems wrong with them and may be a victim of abuse. Julie's solicitor told the court that the couple met on Plenty of Fish in 2016 and their relationship became intensely sexual very quick. They found 175,000 pages of chat logs that were analysed by Merseyside Police and they revealed the pair's sick conversations and fantasies about sexually abusing children. On one occasion, David Murray said about primary school-aged children that is this bad that I feel horny. 
In another chat, Julie Murray said, I'm going to get arrested. Between 2018 and 2021, both defendants abused a child who was aged under 13 on numerous occasions. David would record this abuse on his phone, the court heard. And upon sending David Morris a photograph of school pupils in fancy dress, he responded to Julie Morris, three, possibly, one, definitely. I'm reading that evidence in court that contradicts what the police said. And they said that none of the pupils were being groomed or scouted by Julie when there was evidence that she did do this. And if it had carried on any longer, who knows how many more victims we would have today. David Morris was only arrested because he had a conversation with a paedophile that was already on the radar of the police. And this happened in January 2021. In an impact statement from the victim's dad, he said that my world fell apart when I found out that my daughter was abused. I felt sick to my stomach. My job is to protect her and I feel that I've failed. I'm totally heartbroken. Julie Morris's defence solicitor Paul Becker told the court that they were thoroughly ashamed of their actions and very appalled. Mr Becker said that their defendant had a difficult childhood and was bullied at school. David Morris had no previous convictions and Charles Lander told the court that he was genuinely remorseful for the crimes and shown determination to attend every course in prison to address his sexual offending. The judge Andrew Menery handed Julie Morris a custodial sentence of 13 years and 4 months and David Morris has been jailed for 16 years. Julie and David must serve at least two thirds of their sentence in custody before being considered for parole. At the end of their terms, they'll also be subjected to extended license periods of four years and handing out sentences, the judge said these were crimes that were beyond belief and you show true human depravity that really knows no depths. A sexual harm prevention order has also been imposed on Julie and also David Morris for an indefinite amount of time and both will have to sign the sex offenders register for life. So what a truly terrifying story coming from Wigan and I really want to hear what people have to say on this. Please don't forget to follow me online as well at Scar City Studios and send your stories to news at scarcitystudios.com and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. I really appreciate you joining me today. I'll be back again very shortly with some more news. Peace.